you've never been here before, if you have, welcome back. If you can't remember, then welcome back. Just pretend you've been here before. <laughs> Why wouldn't you remember? I don't know. <laughs> Today, one of the biggest albums ever. Ever? Yeah. In the, in the whole time frame this of This was forever? a big selling album. Big, forever. big, big. Fleetwood Mac's Rumors. This was a phenomenon from 1977. If you've seen my top 25 albums of all time video, this was on there. This is the third album we're doing off of that list. We did Dark Side of the Moon. We did Led Zeppelin 4. And if you've never been with us before, we like to listen to entire albums. And we only look at the lyrics if the lyrics were provided. And in this case, they were provided. The we listening experience as it was intended. Yes, we try to re-experience it like when the album came out. <laughs> And you would just listen to the album and focus on the album and not get distracted and not watch a video necessarily if there were no videos, that kind of thing. And most of the music we listen to, Dev has never heard before. Nope. Fresh ears. I haven't listened to it in a long time. I've been reconnecting yeah. with a lot of the music from my childhood, which is sort of Lucky. one of the reasons I'm doing this channel. I wanted to reappreciate some of the classic music that I've been neglecting over the years. Also, I want to listen to it with more mature listening to see if I can harvest any more out of it than I did when I was younger. I'm so sure. If it, if it reaches you at a different time in your life, it's grown up with you. Just a few things before we get started. Ten seconds or less. Hey, if you had never checked out our community tab, I recommend you do so. We do polls there. We sometimes do giveaways. Things like that. You'll also get to see what's on our Patreon. If you haven't checked out our Patreon, here's the information. Fun stuff. We have extra videos there for our patrons and other fun stuff. Speaking of patrons, thank you, let's patrons. thank those wonderful people. Thanks. They keep the channel Thanks. going. Without Thanks. them, we couldn't do this Thanks. because we can't really monetize these videos. So we really appreciate Not your you support. Not if you want to hear the music. Yes, we do. If you'd like to leave us a tip, you can do so through PayPal or the Thanks button. Here's some information on that. Anything $5 or more will be recognized in our next video. Greatly appreciated. I sound like Tony the Tiger there. You know, if you haven't subscribed yet, it'd be nice. If you like us, please subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And continue with those comments. We love them. And if you want to like the video or share it around, that helps as well. So thanks, guys. When we start a new album, we talk a little bit about the album. So, honey, all right, it's yeah. not totally American, but finally we're doing... A almost American band here on YouTube. <laughs> We've done Rush, they're Canadian, everybody else has been British. Okay, so Fleetwood Mac started out in London. The members that most people are familiar with, the later Fleetwood Mac. Okay, Stevie Nicks, that's well, about it. There's Some three, three British Fleetwood. people, two Americans, okay? okay? They started in 1967. Oh. Yeah. Rumors is like their 11th album. Whoa. All right, but they've had different lineups. This was the second album with Buckingham and Nick's in the group. That's it. Yeah, it was just so their second 10 and 11. One. And the one before this Dang. that they did was also pretty successful. But what this was that one called? Do you remember? It was just called Fleetwood Mac. Okay. So they had a, it was their second <laughs> self-titled album. They just, because so they rebranded, re rebooted, you know, themselves. because they, I mean, they added two singer songwriters. Sure. That, that's a pretty big change. That's, yeah. Nick Fleet was the drummer. John McVie is the bass player. They're the only two original members. I know the drummer. Been, huh? I love that guy. Tall guy. But when he like does the beard drums, does he like, hair. he's always like fish he's mouth? Yeah. Yes. A lot of Take drummers that. do that though. <sighs> and the three songwriters are Christine McVie. She plays keyboards and sings. Lindsey Buckingham, guitar, sings. Stevie Nicks, sings. There's three females in their band? Yeah. Not a clue. Wait, how do you count three? You just named three women. Lindsey is a man. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I was wondering why she sounded so confused. Now, John McVie's wife, Christine McVie. Well, she wasn't his wife when she started playing with the band as a session musician. I think her name was love Christine Perfect before she joined. Convenience. That's lovely. Then around 1975, I'm going to say, 74 or 75, Mick Fleetwood heard Lindsey Buckingham, a recording Lindsey Buckingham did, and wanted him to join the group. By this time, Fleetwood Mac had moved to California, I think, and were kind of doing their recording there. Got it. 
So Lindsey Buckingham said yes as long as he could bring his girlfriend and music partner along. <laughs> and she was... Stevie Nicks. There you go. And it turns out that was a good move that because good Stevie move. Nicks got huge there for a while. I know who that. Stevie Nicks is. All right, She's she the is only not one tall. I actually know. I used to think she was way younger than everybody else in the band. And I was, it, I'm wrong. Yeah. I'm wrong, uh, actually. Okay. So the oldest is Christine McVie. She was around 33 when this album was recorded. Her husband, John, was 30. Mick Fleetwood's 29. Stevie Nicks was 28. And Lindsey Buckingham, 26. So he was the youngest. So I, was, I was off. Way to go for keeping to work with your ex. I think the stress of all the turmoil like that made them that much better. You know, it can. If you uh, let it. I'm not sure what cocaine played in there, but there was a lot of Ooh. cocaine as well. So not only were they recently divorced, I think Mick Fleetwood's wife had just, he just found out she was having an affair with his best friend. So he was going through some stuff. Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham had, were going through a breakup. I don't know if it was during or just before or just after Stevie Nicks had a fling with Mick Fleetwood. So, oh no, yeah, there was all sorts of crap going on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. This album was a huge success from the get-go. It won the Grammy that year. Nice. It was just... It hit all the spots. Yeah. I wonder if all of that acclaim was worth the heartache. They, I think looking back, they do think it was worth it. They were Probably. glad to have put out, to made such a great album. Good for them. One of the uh, traumas was that because they were redoing things so much and re-listening and all that, the tapes got damaged from where? Oh, wow. Somebody had to go through the tapes. This was after they made a lot of these recordings. He fixed the speed variations. It was a very manual, painstaking process. Here's the cover. Seen it. Yeah, it's a very it's a famous cover just because it was such a big album. He is a lanky thing, isn't he? Yeah, I think he he was kind of sauced when he made this cover. <laughs> And he had gone to the bathroom and there was a chain. It was an old fashioned chain toilet and it broke off. So he thought it'd be funny. He brought it out and wore him like that. And they made it into the final shoot. That's fun. But that's a great picture, though. I think it's cool. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Stevie Nicks is looking all Stevie Nicks. Like They're that's in the her ballet, persona. In the but witch's yeah, ballet. Yeah. The back cover is basically just pictures of them. Doesn't Stevie Nooks look really young there? That's why I thought she was the youngest. I mean, she looks about 19 there. You know, she's she barely just as, looks like her, yeah. how I know her. But the, right. the fringe. She definitely you know, the looks different, yes. And then in the album, there were other inserts with more pictures of the band and the lyrics and that kind of stuff. You see, some of those pictures are sprinkled about the background. The first song is Secondhand News. It's written by Lindsey Buckingham. And it pretty much sets the tone of the album because it's about rebounding off of a relationship secondhand news first song on rumors
It's a good opener. Sure. I like the scat singing. I think that works well for that song. Maybe you just couldn't think of a chorus. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. And I like I like the drum fills, like the splash symbol he uses and stuff. That's I think those are the highlights for me for that song. If you haven't joined us before, we sometimes listen to covers. Usually we just listen to a little bit of it, though. I found a, I think it's reggae. It's like a husband and wife. Let's check it out. It's uh, from 2010. The group's called Mates of State. Okay. Don't think it's going to resemble it at all. I find it interesting to listen to these weird takes on sure. this song sometimes. Sure. Who would they even think to do a cover of that song? That's just interesting. You can't like everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's her motto. <laughs> You shouldn't be expected to either. Okay, now the next song. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah? Dreams. This is probably the biggest song on the album. It's probably Fleetwood Mac's biggest song ever. And supposedly it was written in an afternoon. And then they just took her vocal performance and then they added music like it? instruments later. Cool. They actually weren't crazy about it at first. They thought it was boring. Musically, it's really not that complicated. There's only two chords, I think, but it works. Her vocals make it work, I think. This I'm may so have sure. been their only number one hit ever, at least in the U.S. And this is in Rolling Stones, like top 10 songs, greatest ever, like that kind of stuff. And if I recall correctly, the bass line is just like two notes as well. Dreams, song Dreams. number two on Rumors. I love the bass and drum sound of this song. Yeah, it's just like two notes on the bass. Another breakup song. Look at the 
through a major Stevie Nicks thing when I was younger. I bet you did. No, not like that. I just liked her voice so much that I just started like buying up that. all her stuff. Like her solo stuff and yeah. She I really got really into her cool voice. voice. She has a very unique and cool voice, yes. And I'm glad they didn't layer that with so many. I mean, it's just the right amount of uh, different musical instruments to accompany her voice because her voice really is the whole purpose of that song. Right. But still, structurally, it's a pretty simple song. Mm -hmm. And I think they did a good job by putting the drums forward. Like, the drums add a little extra, so that, that's needed. Because the bass is, I mean, the bass sounds cool, but it's just, I, I don't think it ever wavered from, like, two notes, like, the entire time. The guitar just adds little flares here and there, which make it more interesting. This song gets resurrected every once in a while, so it becomes really popular every once in a while like it was on glee i think that made it popular again for a while it was charting what's again glee? what's glee Good and similarly them. it blew up again on tiktok so there was a tiktok video in 2020 done by the skateboarder oh. i'll put a link to his tiktok channel in the description this video went viral and dreams became popular again for a while Mr. Chill. Oh, I like the I like the feather tattoo. That's dope. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Wow. Successful. I think that's key for the viralness of this. Please, God, don't get hit by a car. That's it. All right. That was it. That went viral. Isn't that, that usually the case with those things? I don't know. I expect something more grandiose. I'm glad it didn't it's a TikTok happen. Video. Jeez. That's how your dopamine works. Well, viral videos aside, this song gets covered a ton. Okay. I yeah. wanted to, so I thought we should listen to, I at, least, to sing it. at least a cover of it. I tried to pick something very recent, just given there's been so many covers of it. I don't know. This is from 2021. The performer is Rosie Freighter Taylor. This is something you'd hear at Starbucks. Now here you go again, you say you want your freedom. Well, who Pretty am boys. I to bring you down? It's an interesting accent. It's only right that you should play the way you feel it. She has a breathy voice. Yes. Yeah. I like that kind of voice too, yeah. You know what I'm missing from this though? Like the um backup the drums layers. Remembering what you had what you lost. But they're playing with the syncopation, the rhythm a bit. It's raining. 
that's interesting. Different chord there. Players only. I want to literally say jazzed it up a bit, but there, there were definitely a couple of ja jazz chords in there. They just changed yes, it around a little bit. It's very jazzy. Because it's a, a very simple song structurally. I guess it's ripe for to be meddled with. I liked her voice. It's interesting. It's pretty. Very yeah. pretty. I would like to hear her stuff, not cover stuff that she's done, but her stuff. Well, that's fun. I'm really excited we're doing this album, and that's a good start. We'll see you next time for the next couple of songs. You will Check you later. Know.